What's good everybody? It's your boy Captain Z. And today your boy is gonna do a video on the new 2020 Corvette Stingray. I just wanna say a little bit. This is for the car YouTubers out there. I'm a car channel too. If you guys didn't know, I don't just do reactions. But since my audio didn't work for this video when I was screen recording, I have to just talk over it. So you're gonna be hearing me talking about what I'm gonna do. So as you can see here, we got a Corvette Corvette Stingway 2020 beautiful car the red looking crazy clean on here but at the same time the red is a little too popping for my eye i'm not the big i'm not the kind of guy to be popping a little too much on the colors i'm more like choosing simple cars or just doing some craziness on it but the red for me is a little too much but i'm pretty sure i'm gonna i mean you're gonna see me going through the different colors right here so we got the white which i think looks the best because you can you can never go wrong with the color white like literally for this for the car you can't go you can't go wrong with it we got the you got the silver. I believe it's the silver metallic. This thing looking clean. We got another style of like a grayish whitish kind of material. The dark gray, which looks really nice. I like that. If I had a second idea for the color, I would have gone for that. The blue looks good. The light blue looked amazing. I like the light blue. It was really clean, really nice, fresh. It was that kind of color I would go. The yellow, I don't really like it that much. I mean, it's a little too much. Orange. This orange is very good. I actually hate the color orange, but I do like that type of orange. As I said, the red was it was good. It's just it's too much popping going on right there, as I already told you. There's another style red right that goes with. It's too dark. It's not bad, but at the same time, I wouldn't go with it. And then we got the weird kind of color they have here. As I said, I was gonna go with the white, and as I'm as you can see right here, it looks pure. Looks just beautiful. The white color of the car really makes it look just outside of I like. I'm saying this because. As you guys already know, the Corvette 2020 Stingray, just the new Corvette in general, looks just like a Ferrari. The new Ferrari kind of style of it, I had to go with the black rims of it. Looks like a Ferrari and a McLaren had a baby. Real talk, that's how I see it, and it looks beautiful. So I, I'm not kidding. I'm, I'm very sure the cars I would get in the future. But I'm gonna add this to my list. It looks, it looks really nice. I dig it. It just, it just has that style that just makes me smile. You just know if you see on the road, kids will like it. They'll be like, going crazy. Like, damn, look at that Corvette. To think that people will be saying that Corvette looks good. I mean, Corvettes look good, but this mid-engine Corvette they're coming out with, this thing is beautiful. It looks like something I've never seen. It's just so unique. It has a lift system. It has stuff that sports cars don't usually have and i kind of dig it and yes it's just not a supercar if you guys don't know this is a sports car but yeah this thing is insanely beautiful and beautiful and i already said insanely beautiful and it's really really awesome to me as you can see here we're looking at different kind of accents to add on to this car so i thought they had on the photo i believe on the side the side vent they have like a carbon fiber accent that was really nice that I kind of liked looking at, but I thought, you know what, maybe add that on because you know carbon fibers are the gold of cars. So we put carbon, I thought putting carbon fiber would be the thing I would do. Then they had the carbon fiber windows, I mean not windows, the mirrors. And I thought that's the same way, that's the way to go. I was a little confused what was going on over here. But same thing, I would pretty much put carbon fiber all over this car. You gotta add a wing on that, the carbon fiber wing. But at the same time, the wing is very nice, but you could make it a little... I think you, I'll probably, if I did get the car, modify the wing to make it a little bigger. And I'm telling you, what I want to do to this car when, when this thing comes in is pretty awesome. I'm not going to talk about it now, but at the same time, because I don't have the car and I don't want people to know what I'm going to do to it. Because I like to keep myself kind of secret, because I don't have the money to get something like this right now. I'm, I'm still poor, you know what I'm saying? I live I live at my, 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 my parents' house. But you know what I'm saying? Like you know, you, I'm just dreaming big. I'm just making some future plans of what I want to do to a car that I hope I will definitely get in the future. You I mean, you know what I'm talking about. So, yeah, it was a different kind of style. We had the different engine covers. I think I like to see. We got the red, the black, the gray, and some kind of um, package mode of it. I can't really see it because... I am talking over, so it's kind of like a small screen, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, it looks really clean. The stripes. When I look at the stripes of the car, I want to add in a black and gray stripe. Because it's such clean, it will match with the yellow brake calibers that comes with it. And it'll keep it nice and even. I want to keep the car nice and even. Nice, clean. So, that's a, for the paint job. To look black and gray, it's a unique color. It's just something It's not like just gray. The black and gray kind of sense of each other not overlapping each other's colors and it will match very well with the white so i thought it would be a good idea to add it on 
and then some also some cool gray detail on the side you'll see it right here while i'm looking around wrapping spinning the car around you see those green sides right next to the headlights yeah that's another cool add-on i like this see the car looks i'm not kidding you this might be one of the best looking cars i've seen haven't seen it in person. I can't wait to see it in person. I know it's going to look amazing in person. But this thing looks beautiful. It legit looks like a Ferrari. And the McLaren 570S had a baby. When I was looking at this car from the outside was the white and the gold. As I said for the yellow brake caliber. I got to think of inside a nice insane looking car interior I would use if I was going to get this car. The 1LT seats kind of style. I kind of liked. But I kind of had a hard time trying to figure out how to get into the... To the car, the car was it called? The car color. I just realized I just had a pushed in ex interior and I wasn't really thinking smart about it. But you know, it's all good. But as you can see, this car was if you add the red, the red and the black don't look good with the white and the gold. We gotta make the colors match. You know, your boy's about to match with the colors. It has to look beautiful from the inside and out. So I want to think that the tan colors will look good, but at the same time, I want to see what the other colors will look like. The blue and the black. Now that was clean, I'm not gonna lie. I've never seen a blue inside of a, a car with blue inside, but that was clean. Look at the blue and the black. They even had the way the car inside looks like. You got all the, on the right side, you have all the different kind of buttons you would use to change the air condition, the seats, the level, to keep, keep yourself warm. You got a new screen over there, which I'm circling around to show you guys right there. The brick, look at the pedal shifters on that thing, bro. The pedal shifters on the, on the car looks really nice and clean. It just looks like a clean car. You know what I'm saying? The Corvette Stingray 2020. Looks beautiful. Probably the best Corvette I've ever seen. But at the same time, I thought the tan color probably be the best color to match with the white. Because the tan. Look, you got the tan. The tan and the black match very nice. You got the white inside the emblem of the Corvette in the middle. Looking all clean and shiny. But at the same time, you got to make sure this car has got all the performance and the beauty to get the attention of the ladies and all the other people that want to see this car. You know what I'm saying? This car got to be beautiful on the inside and out. This Corvette is just something that they really worked hard on. And it just looks good. And so focused on the person. As you can see how everything's focused on the driver. It's like you're driving a jet. But you're not. You're driving a car. It's like the jet style. It's like you're feeling like you're in a cockpit. That's how I like to see it. And I believe that that switch. That um near the. Near the wait, wait, what am I talking about? Oh before I get into that. The white color. of The, the white was clean. If I wasn't going to go with a white car. White on white. I would have probably gone. Well, probably the light blue and the white. The white on white is too much white for me. But at the same time, that white interior, my God, it's so clean. You know what I'm saying? It just looks beautiful. It's just something that I like to see of how people will do their car designs and stuff. So I know someone's definitely going to try the blue and the white. It just looks so clean. As I said, the Corvette 2020 looking clean and shiny. Beautiful. Look at the artwork on this thing, boys and girls. It's just so nasty. But look. I wouldn't go white and white, but I would go with the tan and white because, as I said, the yellow brake helpers need something like the, a color that would match kind of with the tan and make it look nice and beautiful. So, if I were going to get the, the 2020 Corvette, I'm probably going to do it right now. I'll push the tan button right there and make it look tan with the tan stitching, the little details you can see, the tan over there, tan over here. I know you can probably put more tan, but I kind of want to keep the black and the tan and make it even. Because as I said, you got black and gray stripes on the outside. I got to put that yes on there. And I probably will go with some leather seats. So, as I said, I think I made a mistake there. It was a black, black. Don't get me wrong, the black looks nice. But I also want to get the carbon bucket seats. Because the carbon just looks nice. You know, you got to make that thing look clean. I'm dreaming big, and it's all good to dream big, guys. If you don't dream big, there's no way you're going to get anything in this world. You got to show the world who's boss. But I'm almost done with this video right here because at the same time, I am running out of time. This video is probably like 10 minutes long. But I hope you guys did enjoy. I'm just trying to say a few things. The tan color of the car and the white. Just going to make this scene look really clean. If you did enjoy today's video, give your boy a subscription. I do do car content. The problem is that this just, I don't really have like a crazy looking car. But you know, it's all good. We'll make it work. But... You know what? That's what the final look of the car would look like if I was going to go for it. The gray outside, the white with the gray and the black stripe, the tan interior, yellow brake calibers, the wing. You see that? That thing looks legit like a Ferrari. You know what I'm saying? Ferrari, Corvette style mixture looking beautiful. So, as I said, if you did enjoy today's video, give your boy a like and subscription. 
jab that like button, jab that, that that sub button, subscribe button, and yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. If you got anything else you want me to talk about or do something on, just put it in the comments and I'll do it happily. You know what I'm saying? That's how this YouTube channel works. Captain Zen now, and I hope you guys have a fantastic day. Peace out. Yeah.